on the previous episode. Uh, what is going on? Don't get too close. Oh my, that's sus. That seems pretty sus. I hear evil laughter. That's sus. That's sus. So we left off to this point that we need to gain access to the infirmary and I don't know how I'm going to find this underground location. Well, I guess I'll have to find out by jumping down. Oh gee, Blake, Blake, are you okay? I hope so. Hmm, what's in here? This place looks strange. There's a fire extinguisher. Maybe this could be useful. What else happened over here? Hmm, let's I'm gonna hide this tape when I'm finished. If none of us make it, at least there'll be some kind of a record. The storm's been hitting us pretty hard now for 48 hours. We still have nothing to go on. One other thing. I think it rips through your clothes when it takes you over. Windows found some shredded long johns, but the name tag was missing. They could be anybody's. We're all very tired. There's nothing else I can do. Just wait. R.J. McCready, helicopter pilot, U.S. Outpost North 31. <gasps> R.J. McCready, Kurt Russell. Yeah, that's 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 the actor who played as him in the original. Yeah, it, it totally makes sense now. Okay, so R.J. McCready was there. Was just a scratch. So R.J. McCready was there when he when he recorded this tape to find out. Who body. is who? It's, it's numb! It's numb what? <coughs> so I might need to pause here for a second. So, R.J. McCready was there. And many of the members in Outpost 31 got mutated. And it, yeah, it was pretty a deep downward towards problem towards them. So, that's basically how the movie ended. With the explosion of the base and all. And that's how it all happened leaving with child and mccready uh, celebrating a little drink so now we just gotta find the key and gain access to the infirmary which way where, where norris got inhabited i don't know what these things are for but they might come in handy oh there's another passage Scene's pretty Hey, this scene looks familiar. That's a spaceship where Blair, you know, he built the spaceship to go somewhere. What the hell? Totally makes sense now. What do you think it is, Captain? I don't know and I don't care. Looks like a goddamn UFO to me. This shit gives me the creeps. Yeah, yeah, we're not alone in the universe and all that crap. Check it out and move on. Maybe the key's in there. Ah, and there we go. We finally got the key. So now we gotta find a way to get back up there. Although this... Aircraft or spacecraft seems so much familiar, familiar than the one Blair used to build to escape to some place. Same area as before. Hmm. I wonder where the top of the stair surface is at. Oh wait, I could have gone that way. I also live here. Over. I need help. I'm 
He reads it. Over. McCready? Wait, where's the radio? I don't see the radio. No, I'll just go to the infirmary. Ah, there it is. Open sesame. Access code doors. <coughs> the door in front of you is an access code door, and you'll need an access code before it will open. Access codes can be found written down and as part of computer terminal messages. You don't have to make a note of these codes as Blake can remember them. When you found the access code for a door, go up to the access panel next to the door and press the E button to open it. Look for the access code to this door and return when you found it. A hint, access codes are usually just a series of numbers and may not be obviously labeled. Yep, just, just, just the trust locker. Hmm. This seems quite familiar. I think Norris was... We're gonna die here! Alright. I'm okay. Uh, no, we're, no, we're not going to. It's fine. Wait, I found something. An infected entity has the ability to fragment and survive. Every part of it is a whole. Oh, there's another one of those notes. The virus has the ability to replicate the original biological entity, including the clothing. Um, is there anything more to this? No, that's just probably what happened to the guy. Here's another one. If an infected entity reaches the mainland, then global infection will occur in approximately 72,000 hours. Um, oh, there's another one. Advanced junction boxes. <coughs> In front of you is an advanced junction box, and only your engineer can fix these. To get your engineer to fix an advanced junction box, you need to first identify the junction box by walking up to it until its name appears, as you would for a basic junction box. There are two ways that you can ask your engineer to fix it. First, if your engineer is close enough to fix the junction box, the I can fix it icon will automatically appear over his head. This allows you to walk right up to him and press the E button, which tells him to fix the junction box. The second way to have your engineer fix a junction box is to bring up the squad menu by pressing the Q button. <coughs> Select your engineer, then select the go to option, the command on the left, and lastly select the junction box you want him to fix. He will then go fix it. Yeah, go to the power supply. Okay. Should be good to go. And the power is back on. We might have to worry about that thing later. I don't know if it will come back to life. So I guess we'll take a closer look at it now. Oh wait, there's another one. Although contact with an infected entity does not guarantee infection. There is still between a 50-70% chance of infection. Adrenaline hypos. <coughs> the, 
you you've just picked up an adrenaline an adrenaline hypo in situations where squad members are suffering from extreme stress. Using an all using an adrenaline hypo on them will call them for a short time. To use an adrenaline hypo on a squad member, press the I button to enter your inventory and then press the enter button on the icon in the center of the screen to take you to your items. Move the mouse in the direction of the adrenaline syringe and press the enter button when it is highlighted. Now press the escape button to return to the game and approach the squad member you wish to use the adrenaline on. To use the adrenaline syringe, press the mouse to button. The squad member will now temporarily calm down, but you will need to get him away from whatever is causing him to be afraid before the effects of the adrenaline wear off. I don't see the adrenaline. Um... Should we get closer? Ah, oh Christ, what is that? Chill out. Everybody keep tight till we figure out what's going on. Squad member fear. Your squad members are always conscious of their circumstances and the environment around them. And when they've seen too much, they will begin to lose it. To see how a squad member is handling his situation, activate the squad menu by pressing the Q button and pay attention to his picture. If he is doing okay... He'll casually be looking from left to right. If he's noticeably frightened, he'll be looking all around at a panicked speed. If he's close to outright losing it and cracking up, he'll be shaking uncontrollably. To reduce your squad member's fear, try giving him a weapon or give him to follow you out of the area. Refer to your field manual to find out about different things you can do to calm your squad members when fear gets to them. Okay. Okay. Now let's get the heck out of here. We seen too much. I'll pull it together. Of course you will. Um. Um. There we go. Yes, sir! So now, I think we should find access to this door over here. Um, this might be a little tougher than I ever thought. This mission is bullshit. I think we should get out of here now. I gotta be honest with you folks, uh, this is indeed a one messed up base to begin with. So how do we get access to this door? Um, yeah, I got nothing. So, <coughs> uh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, spaces to crouch. Uh, yeah, I can't get to it. I didn't know I could walk. Control. Man, I'm so clumsy at this game. Yeah, this is gonna be a lot tougher than I thought. So... Yeah. Well, there is a computer here. Ah! Now I see. Uh, let's read what it says. I have compiled a five-page report from the autopsy performed on the anomalous corpse that was discovered at the Norwegian outpost. 
it appears that what we are dealing with is some kind of self-repairing entity that has the ability to morph itself into different biological forms. Access to medical supplies is limited to myself and Gary. The code is 1138. Ah, so Gary was there. And yeah, that's when Blair Thing killed Gary by doing this whole figure digging onto his face and that's how he actually died. That's the died. kind of information well, Whitley was talking about. I gotta find that report. So yeah, let's go to the door and access the code. And we are in. And there's a first aid kid. Yep, that's enough aid kits I can get for them. There's data room number one. So yeah, let's see. Man, I hate this job. Ah, saving the game. Audio recorders. <laughs> <coughs> Pardon my coughing. I apologize if I'm not feeling well today. Um, let's see. Audio recorders allow you to save your progress. To save a game, go up to the audio recorder until the hand icon appears. Then press the E button and you will be taken to the save game menu. Okay, I guess I can stop here for now. And yes, uh... I, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the second part of the thing. And although I think the thing's starting to becoming, well, my most favorite film and game of the day for the moment, um, let me know if you want to see more of this and uh, we'll get right back to you. Until then, this is Mayuto Brito and this has been another horror gameplay night. <laughs> now, <coughs> where did I put my medicine? On the next episode. Holy shit, what happened in here? Identify yourself. Captain, it's Carter. Christ, where's everybody? What happened here? Something. I don't know what they were, but they attacked us. I thought they was part of the... 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 the wait a minute. Don't you come any closer. Where the hell did you come from anyways? A chopper brought me in. From the U.S. research station, five clicks south of here. Ah, uh, I'm hurt pretty bad. Don't move, I'll see what I can do. I hope he's not one of those things.